Saturday night, opening night. Iowa football, they're getting ready for a big game in East Lansing against the Michigan State Spartans. Plenty of players and coaches on this team have history for and against the green and white. Hawkeye headquarters reporter Blake Hornstein has the story from Iowa City. Hawkeyes quarterback Cade McNamara doesn't have the fondest of memories playing Michigan State. The two times he has in the last four years, he blew out his knee and lost one of the all-time great college football games in East Lansing. I mean, at this point, you know, I've played a lot of teams in the Big Ten. But McNamara sees a third career game against Michigan State as an opportunity filled with gratitude. This year I've been healthy, and for me to see these teams for whether it's a second or third time, um, you know, that's the, the exciting part. Excited because things feel different. The coordinators have changed, the players have changed since the last time I've played them. With no injuries holding him back. I mean, I wouldn't even really consider playing them when I got hurt last last time I played them. The memories go even deeper for backup quarterback Brennan Sullivan. So I grew up uh, right outside Flint, Michigan, Davis, Michigan. It's about 40 minutes uh, outside East Lansing. So yeah, I can have a lot of family there. It'd be, uh, be cool to play there. And Davis and Sullivan was an all-state quarterback. And if the last few games have been any indication, he'll have a chance to contribute in front of plenty of friends and family. It's cool just talking to the guys about their experiences in Michigan. And they're all pretty similar. You know, we're, we kind of see ourselves as some gritty guys and we kind of share that across the locker room. But nobody has more of a Spartan bred history than Phil Parker. And Parker, but the ball is marked where his knee is down. He's a three-time All-Big Ten player. That's really hard to do. And he wasn't the fastest guy. He's certainly not a combine guy. And he still says they were, you know, Nick tried to run him out of there and all that stuff as a player. Uh, but, you know, Phil doesn't go away. He's one of those guys. The Hawkeyes looking to keep the train on the tracks. The offense has significantly improved. They've scored 30 or more points in four of their six games thus season. If they can get more of the same, things are looking bright heading into the latter half of the 2024 football season. Reporting from Iowa City, I'm Blake Kornstein for Hawkeye Headquarters.